Hello guys and welcome to the channel. Today I'm finally going to get round to showing you guys how to create the ultimate football simulator game. As you've seen in videos on this channel for quite some time now, I play a heavily modified version of uh, PES 2021 and today I'm finally going to show you guys how you can make your game look exactly the same. So if you're looking to enhance your PES experience and make the ultimate football simulator, you're in the right place. Let's dive in. Right then guys, for those of you that don't know, the Prevo editing community have done an absolutely incredible job of updating what is now a pretty old game. PES 2021 is a season update on PES 2020, which is obviously over three years old now. Um, but these guys have done an incredible job at enhancing the graphics, the gameplay, and even adding new features, leagues, different modes. Like It is just amazing. Um, once you've signed up to these forums, you can access all the community creations and I'm now going to go through some of the best features that these guys have added with mods. Right then guys, so the first thing we're going to talk about is the graphics mods. Now these mods improve the visual quality of the game, making it a more immersive and enjoyable experience. Some of the best examples of these mods include the stadium packs. Now these mods completely add new stadiums from scratch or, or improve existing stadiums as they change over time. Um, this includes things like turf patterns, goal net style, we've got hundreds of different goal net styles, we've got different lighting adjustments and even the addition of realistic tunnels modelled off the, the, the real counterparts. It just gives you an incredibly realistic match day experience. So you've also got your kit packs guys, which this is a massive one for Pez. Obviously anyone that's played this game on the PlayStation or Xbox growing up will know that you had to get an option file, the kits were never licensed. Well with this patch all the kits are, li are licensed, we've got all the up to date kits, with some clubs have got 3rd, 4th and even 5th kits. You've also got special Champions League kits like the Manchester United white shorts and socks, it is incredible. You can even mix and match the kits like the good old Pez 5 days. Not only do we have a vast array of kits, but we also have a huge amount of real player faces added to the game. Now these look, some of these look absolutely incredible, like they're, they're updated to the date. Um, the community have done an incredible job with thousands of new faces added. Um, this includes, you know, all the Premier League players, the Championship have got a lot of player faces. You know, you've got Ligue 1, Serie A. Um, the La Liga, the, the second Spanish division, like ev nearly every league has got players' faces added to them. Like it is an incredible turnaround for obviously a game that doesn't always have the most licensed faces. Um, the community have done an amazing job. So we also have a massive amount of boots and balls added to the game. We've got over a hundred pairs of boots, over three hundred balls. We've got classic balls from years gone by, the classic World Cup balls. They've really added. An incredible amount of content to this game. Um, we also have all the latest versions for the 2022-23 season. So every league has its licensed football, um, and every player has their real boots mapped in the game, which just adds to the immersion. On top of boots and balls, we also have a number of miscellaneous graphic mods, referee kits for each league. We've got updated fan banners with the real life logos and things like that on. We've got bibs for the substitutes. We've got ball boys entrance boards and different cutscenes that have been modified in we've got realistic scoreboards and menus the, the list for graphics mods i mean you'll see night and day compared to the, the vanilla game how incredible this is so moving on from graphics onto gameplay now we do have a number of mods that actually enhance the gameplay experience these mods can adjust the player movements, the ball physics, the AI behaviour, just to make the game feel a bit more refreshing and challenging. Obviously this is a three year old game, um, it hasn't really changed in terms of gameplay for a long time and it can become quite stale so props to these guys for, for making adjustments to it now. I mean, Some of the popular versions that I will mention in the video, Holland's gameplay mod is incredible. Um, and also the gentleman's mod if you play Fuma is well worth giving it a go. For me personally. I've tried a lot of gameplay mods and I've always ended up going back to the vanilla gameplay um, just based on the Master League experience. I found sometimes you know, that there would be some odd scorelines playing out um, in the games that I was playing and there was a lot of nil-nils on one of the gameplay mods and then sometimes there'd be too many goals. I've always just gone back to the vanilla um, just for a more balanced game but if you guys do find a really good uh, gameplay mod that provides you with balanced gameplay please let me know in the comments and I will be certain to give it a try. 
So the next gameplay mod I'm going to talk about is the camera angle mods. Now these literally are incredible. They allow you to make micro adjustments to the existing camera angles. Um, obviously more adjustments than you would be allowed by default or you can go with a complete overhaul and install like the live broadcast camera module that you see in my videos. Um, this is basically like watching the game on TV. It changes the camera angle depending on which stadium you're playing in and it is so immersive. Like it just looks incredible. I know a lot of you guys have asked um, about the camera mods in the past so I will provide a link in the description to where I got my camera module. So one of the biggest things for me with pairs over the years has been the audio. It's always suffered in comparison to FIFA. FIFA does an incredible job of the audio and that's somewhere you know, Pez has always looked to, to try and catch up to FIFA, but with these mods, it's very, very close now. Um, we have incredible fan chants that have been added for every team in the game. We've got real life recordings which create a much better atmosphere than, than the vanilla version. Um, it does add a lot of immersion when playing as different clubs from different nations. You know, a Serie A game sounds completely different to a Premier League game, even in as much detail as, as when a goal is scored, the crowd cheer differently. It really is incredible. Another audio enhancement added to this game would be the entrance songs for the teams as they walk out. So we've now got hundreds of different entrance songs for different clubs such as You'll Never Walk Alone for Liverpool, Zed Cars for Everton, um, the Madrid Anthem for Real Madrid. It just adds that authenticity that's been lacking from the game. We also have competition anthems, the Champions League, the Europa League. Um, in, in incredible detail I mean even as much as listening to the Napoli fans shout the champions at the end of the anthem just details like that are absolutely incredible we also have a massive array of girl songs added to the game for different teams um, you've also got a, a pitch sound effects overhaul so basically all the sounds of when like when the ball is kicked the ball hits the crossbar when the player is fouled they've all been overhauled uh, we also have improved referee whistle sounds and brand new menu music so now we've covered some of the content of the best PES 21 mods, let me talk to you about which mods I use and how you guys can install them so your game looks the same as mine. First of all guys, and this is an absolute must, I would recommend that you back up your game files before doing any modifications so then you can easily revert to the original game if something goes wrong during the installation process. So literally copy, paste the full game folder, put it on another drive. Um, and just keep it as backup because then if, if it does go wrong obviously you can just replace all the files again. So guys once you've backed up your files the next thing you need to do is head over to the Evo web forums and sign up. Once signed up you'll have access to all the community creations for PES 21 and that includes the mods mentioned in this video. Right then guys so on to the mods that I use. So there are a number of different mods on the Evo web forums you can cherry pick and install yourself. Now for the easiest way to do this, I would go and download the Virtual Red patch and the latest version of this is version 6. Now this provides the base for everything I've shown you in this video. Um, the team at Virtual Red do an incredibly detailed job. They've released updated versions of the patch after each transfer window and it's just an easy way of keeping on top of everything. You know, It includes all the patches I've already mentioned. Um, previously in this video all merged into one and it also is fairly easy to install obviously if you guys are more advanced um, at modding and you want to cherry pick your own mods from Evo Web, that's absolutely fine but for the purpose of this video I would say download Virtual Red version 6 and it's just the easiest way to do this now obviously guys the Virtual Red patch is big um, it's over 150 gigabytes and the stadiums are also 100 gigabytes on top of that now obviously the stadiums are optional however i would recommend downloading these if you want an ultra realistic gameplay experience so the second mod i use and i've also included a link to this in the description there's a free version of this mod it's the ultimate master league mod by pog champion now there is a free version on evo web however for the latest up-to-date version you will need to subscribe to his patreon now i've included the link to that in the description also now whether you guys go for the paid or free version is completely up to yourselves me personally i went for the paid version just so i could get the most up-to-date transfers and player stats um this, I mean, this mod does incredible things for the Master League, so 
Um, it changes the, the date to the current season rather than playing from the 2020-21 season. It also edits the length of the players' contracts. It changes the players' stats. It has up-to-date transfers and team tactics. It really is a game-changer if Master League is something that you're going to be planning on doing. Right then, guys, once you've downloaded these patches, the first thing you're going to need to do is extract the files using either WinRAR or 7-Zip. This will give you access to the files needed for installation. So extract these to your desktop, and then we'll be ready to make the installation. So one of the best things about the Virtual Red mod is it actually comes with a very simple install wizard that you'd get for any other software on Windows. So it will literally do it all for you. Simply open the install wizard, select the correct game directory folder for PES 2021 and press install. And this will literally go through the full wizard and install the game for you. You will launch the game via the Virtual Red logo, which will be created on your desktop. This will open Cider, which is a more advanced tool for modding. I will do an in-depth video on Cider um, if you guys feel like you need any help with that. So onto the Ultimate Master League mod now. This one is slightly more complicated than the Virtual Red install wizard, so you will need to manually um, install this mod. It does come with really good instructions from Pog Champion. Um, if you just follow these in the text file, you'll you'll be able to install it, I would imagine, fairly simply. But if you guys do have struggle with this or you need any assistance, please let me know in the comments and I'll be happy to make a more in-depth video showing you all how to do this. So guys, once you've installed these two mods, you can then launch PES 2021. Check that you've got all the boots, balls, kits, check you've got everything working. Um, there are occasional instances where things don't quite go to plan with the install suit, which is obviously why we kept a backup. But if you've done it correctly, everything should be working perfectly. Just a quick bit of advice as well, if you guys do use other mods off the EVO web forums, I would just always make sure you check the instructions um, and also check the compatibility with other mods because if mods clash it can cause your game to crash. Um, there are some other really good mods on the EVO web forums, some of which I will go into more depth about in future videos. However, if you've gone through this video and installed everything correctly, you'll have a really good base version of PES 2021. Right guys, and that's it. You should have PES 2021 fully modded now after installing what we've been through in this video. If you do have any questions about what we've been through, please drop it in the comments. Remember to like, share and subscribe for more content like this. I will have a FIFA 23 mods video coming soon um, and also a Master League live stream coming up soon, guys. Thanks for watching. See you next time.